This is Duke University. I'm Roberto Conduru. I'm an art historian based in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, where I work as professor at the State University of Rio de Janeiro. You can't imagine Brazilian culture without Africa. The Portuguese started to colonize that part of America in the 16th century. At the end of that century, men and women from Africa were transported forcibly to that part to be enslaved. Moreover, how Africa is usually thought integrally, almost never paying attention to the specificities of the regions from where many men and women were forced to migrate to that part of South America from the 16th to the 19th century. As a result of the diaspora and the conditions of slavery those men and women and their descendants were subjected to, many elements of African origin are part of the Brazilian social dynamics and have contributed to the constitution of, of what is known as Afro-Brazilian culture. So you can see African contributions in the language, the music, the food, the, the landscape, everywhere, even in the bodies of Brazilians. So it's impossible to consider Brazil without thinking about Africa and the contributions of men and women from there and their descendants. The photograph appropriation of the practices of African descendants may be seen as a way to include them artistically, an action that highlights its documentary and ethnographic dimensions. It's what we find in one of Pap's Espaços Imantados, Magnetized Space, a photographic record of capoeira being performed and watched in downtown Rio. I started to focus on the connections between Brazil and Africa 15 years ago since uh, I started to look at some objects from the Afro-Brazilian religion. Most part of the studies were made by anthropologists, but not in the art history realm. And I thought it was important, it is very important to study that. Works from Master Didi. His name was the Oscaridis Maximiliano dos Santos. And he was a very important priest. And he created many objects for the worship of the Orishas, the deities of Candomblé. In 1964, encouraged by Juan and by the Santo, his wife, Master Didi began to present the ceremonial scepters he made for Obaluaye and Nana, deities of earth and mud in Candomblé, as artworks. His presence in both Brazilian and international art circles confirms the possibility of transition from the religion's domain to the artistic circuit. Objects that were in the terreiros, in the religion's space, migrate to the art realms. At the same period, you find works like, for instance, uh, Ligia Pape, Helio Itisica, who are very famous Brazilian contemporary artists, who appropriate some elements, words, expressions, objects, from these religions, and mix them with other elements of different origins to produce very strange artworks. The title of P15 Parangolé Cape 11 has the expression Incorporo a Revolta, Embody Revolt, connecting religious incorporation of deities to political revolt, showing once more how these artworks dealt with many reference and social domains, blending art, religion, politics, behavior, and other things in the strive against established powers. I gave classes in Brazil for more than 20 years. Last year, I had an experience giving class for undergraduate and graduate students at the Southern Methodist University in Dallas, Texas. Through art, I was asking them to think why, when, what was created that idea of Latin America and how art can help us to think about that. They were motivated. Art was a 
interesting object to connect them to Latin America because the course was about Latin American art. And for Brazilians, inside the Brazilian culture, how Brazilians don't look at the other countries in the Latin America. And so to give a course on Latin America in Brazil was very important because it was a way to help them to think how Brazil belongs or not to what is supposed to be Latin America. To look to Brazil is a way to look to the US since you can just think about what is similar, what is different, what points connect in history, what points diverge in history. Artists have been dialoguing for a long time and many artists in Brazil look at US art and US have invited many artists to contribute to make shows here and so there are many links and I think that look to the other is a way to look especially to ourselves and I think that art is an important media to do that. Produced by Duke University, online at duke.edu.